Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me and I'm still on my morning in Rocky Bay, but now it's the time for me to hit the golden light on the sandy part of the beach. The conditions this morning were absolutely stunning and I really, really enjoyed the golden light as it flowed across the water and greeted me to start the day. So let's join me and see what today brings. Hi. The sun is about to come up now and what I've done here is I've just come over and I'm going for a very, very, very simplistic shot here at the moment. The waves are coming right in. Like I said from the outset, it's high tide, so it's actually taking all of the beach. But what I'm actually looking for is not really much of the beach. I'm looking for the motion in the water as it goes back out and gives me the reflected light as well. Just like this right now, as you can see, maybe you can, yeah. As the water's coming in and out then here with the sun, just peeking over the horizon in the distance. I think from a simplistic point of view, it is a very, very nice shot. This is a big wave now that's coming in here. I might have to be conscious of you as well here if it reaches you, but it may not actually know. So um, I'm going to use a two second exposure here to be able to stretch out that water as it's going out and as also as it's coming in. So far looking at it, I think the water coming in actually is a lot nicer. But the subtleness that I see in the sky here is absolutely beautiful. No foreground interest whatsoever, just the water itself being that interest and the movement in that water as well should hopefully catch the eye and bring the eye into the scene. I am seeing a small bit of the headland as well that's there, so that's the only real subject that's in the image. And I'm still sticking at the same settings I was, oh that's nice, I was still sitting at the same settings I was a moment ago at 14, 2 second uh, exposure time and ISO 100. Now as then the water goes out you get a bit of calmness in the water too and then I can get that light reflected off the top of the water also. So a number of different shots I think that I can get actually from this very 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 simplistic scene. I do really like it, you know, to coin a word, it's delicate, it is quite delicate. So I'm going to play around here, take a couple of more photographs here and just wait now for the optimum one, like a couple that I see right now here where the water is actually being frozen. I'll, fast, I'll make my shutter speed faster if enable me to do that. But yeah, lovely here at high tide in Rocky Bay and at sunrise. I thought you were going to fall. The next spot now that I'm over at here is there's a stream that runs down the side here and it goes into the sea and there's a number of rocks that are here so I've just popped in purely as an experiment to see will I be able to get a photograph of these rocks that are below me here, the nice bit of subtle light that you can see there in the sky and then as the waves will come in here in front of me as well so you get your natural water, you get your sea water and then as well you get the sky above that. The sun is now just gone behind some clouds so I'm not having to deal with any harsh light so it's allowing me to go for a longer exposure and then try and get some movement not only in the water that's flowing underneath me here but as the water as well will flow in there too just like this right now hopefully it comes up towards me which I think it is actually here and now I've got a mixture of seawater and I've got the um, normal water Jeez. Um, and that's going to allow me then, I think, hopefully get a nice shot. It's purely, like I say, it's an experiment. Let's see if it works out or not anyway here. I'll take a couple of shots and then I'm going to head further over onto the beach. There's a nice bit of reflections now that are happening here. The water has come in with some big waves, so I have a small bit of sand left, whereas I don't have it over here. And I hopefully will get down a bit low there and try and get some uh, reflections as well for the final shots that I'll get here this morning.
another very, very quick pit stop here. There's uh, two bits of flow of the water, which is coming actually from that stream that's behind me here. And they're coming in from either side of the frame, and then you're coming in through a central gully towards the sun that's in the end here. I have a small bit of a seaweed as well, which is a nice bit of a touch in the uh, sand. So I stopped here, I couldn't really pass it up. Uh, don't know, again, might work, may not work. I'm at a one and a half second exposure and I'm at F14 at the moment, ISO is 100. I'm going to do a number of different places for focus. I'm going to focus directly here in front of me, I'm going to focus in the distance as well so that I can um, stack those images later. It may work, it may not work, but do you know what? I'd kick myself if I didn't take the shot and it would end up being a nice shot thereafter. So yeah, always just take a shot anyway, nothing you can lose, you know, just a frame and a couple of seconds. Okay, so for the final shot that I want to get here now this morning, I am going to be all about timing. So I am going to go into 35 mil. I'm going to focus directly in front of me and I want to wait just like you see right here. I'm waiting for a small bit of a final bit of the wave to come right up here and just stop right in front of me. Now, it is a bit of a challenge because I think I've got it right where the water is going to stop, but this one is a bit too far away from me. Um, my shutter speed now here is at half a second. I'm at uh, F9, but actually I'm one stop overexposed here. So I make that faster actually, because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to kind of freeze the action and freeze that wave as it comes right up here in front of me. While I'm doing this now, there's a bird who's right in front of me. He may or may not come up on the screen. I'm going to take a number of shots. Hopefully, I'll get him actually, yeah. Um, but <laughs> nice bit of fortune of luck here if I was a wildlife photographer. But I have the wild lens on, so at least I was at 35, maybe I'll get that. But like I say, I'm just waiting now for a wave to come up here and stop directly in front of me. What I can also do while I'm waiting for that is because waves have come up here, you can see there's a big sheen and a flatness of the sand. So that gives me a nice reflection of the sky. But there is no color in the sky currently because the sun now has gone behind that cloud that I mentioned earlier. Now, this wave here, hopefully it reaches me and it'll stop directly in front of me. If not, the one behind it may actually do that as well. And I just want to be able to get that shot um, to finish up what has been a phenomenal morning here in Rocky Bay. Now, I think if it reaches me, I'll grab that. And what I, my idea behind it is I want it to be in the bottom third of the screen. You should be able to see the details, the bubbles in the uh, in the water as well and I think it will be a nice photograph. I'm down low as well because I want to make that as big as I possibly can within the frame and I think maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But yeah, my knees now are starting to give out to me with the sinking sand. So look, I'll wait around here, I'll get this shot, I'll wait for it to happen anyway and I'll check back in and let you know how I get on to finish out this beautiful morning here in Rocky Bay. So that's it. Thank you very, very much, as always, for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed coming along in this episode this morning. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall.